Well now, this has been a long time coming. So what I'm about to show you is the new base, as you saw in the return video. I realize how many months ago that was now. But you're going to see some other differences that you didn't see in the return video. And that would be because I recorded three episodes. Episode 30, 31, and 32. But I forgot to... Or more likely, I forgot to reset up my settings in OBS to record my voice audio. So as much as I did record my voice in those, they did not get placed in the video. Well, actually, they weren't even recorded, so there's that. So I'm going to show you around, talk you through what's been going on, and we're going to go from there. So this is the new base. It's a lot more, lot smaller than the previous one. The nice thing is, is that there's no pillars all throughout the, you know, floor and ceiling. Got a couple of vaults, some smithies, everything here. So we got our little cheat sheets for making kibble and stuff. It's pretty nice. I like how how small it is. It's pretty good. Probably could make it bigger, but we'll do that when we get to Scorched Earth. So, yeah, I have my aloes over here. They've already been bred up and have all the eggs hatched for the army that we'll eventually have. Same with the Rex army. Here's where we get into some of the new things. So you'll notice I have a couple megatheriums here. I also have some over here. These two megatheriums are two I tamed on video. Again, uh, don't have that recording anymore. So unfortunately, that's not... I mean, I have the recording. It's just not ever going to go up because there's, well, nothing to see. So I bred those two up, created this monster, name of Swamp Killer, because his job is to go into the Cave of the Immune, or as is also known, the Swamp Cave, which is right here, and destroy all the bugs that are in there. And he is good at his job, as you see. He's level 266. And fully imprinted. And he's blue. So that's cool. Those two over there are the product of the other two. These two are going to be the Megatherium army. Now, why are we going to have a Megatherium army? Well, that is because... I learned some very, or not learned, I was given some very good advice that aloes are not the best for taking on the broodmother. They are good for taking on, oh shit. Saber, hang on. There's an alpha raptor I need to go take care of real quick before it decides to try and take care of me. Hey, come back here. We're back. Okay, we're back. Uh, so where was I? Uh, yeah. So aloes are good for taking on the Megapithecus, not really the Broodmother. So instead, we're going to use Megatheriums, who have a bonus against bugs. They do, you know, 20 times or whatever damage against bugs, and, well, Broodmother is a bug, and so yeah, we're going to use them against the Broodmother. They just need to be bred and get the army ready, but they have the stats that we need. I mean, these are their base stats right now. They haven't been leveled up. They have 4,700 health. I mean, it could be better, but with a couple mutations, maybe. Stamina is 1,800. That doesn't matter. But melee damage is 284 already. And, like I said, they are the exact same. Right? 4,736? Yeah. So they have the same stats. They are going to be amazing. Especially once I get them leveled up to, you know, near max level. Well, once I get their babies leveled up to near max level. Uh, so yeah, I bred up Swamp Killer, those two. Inside of Marlin and Martha. I thought his name was Martin for a second. Uh, all our aloes that need to be raised and imprinted. And all our rexes. And then that is our UD egg. That's going to be used to be our Uteranus for our boss fights. Now, on to the next thing. Uh, Fluffy died again. This is now Fluff the Third. If you're wondering how Fluffy died, uh, the Swamp Cave. I went in, I wasn't totally prepared for it, and the uh, dragonflies got me and Fluffy. 
But with that being said, we do have some new uh, of these things. I can't remember which ones come from where. But we got the Skylord and the Immune Caves. So we did do the Skylord Cave as well. I'm going to go ahead and go do those two for you guys as well. Just so you can see them. Uh, you know, it's part of the series is showing people, you know, almost every aspect of the game that we can. We've gotten pretty much most of the things done that we need to cover, except we just need to cover some more of the caves. So we're going to go through the Immune and the Skylord together today. Uh, and then probably I'll start raising up the ne next batch of uh, Megatheriums and getting them ready for the Broodmother boss because we have everything we need basically. Uh, I think this, oh yeah, Artifact of the Immune. So yeah, this is the one from the Immune Cave and honestly I don't remember which one is the Skylord. One of these ones, might be that one. This place is the, well, artifact pedestal. Well, that is the artifact pedestals, but this is the kind of trophy area where we're keeping all the artifacts. It looks amazing at night. I will show you guys when we have a chance. It just, this place looks cool at night just because of all the glowing colors. Once we get the other, well, are we just down to two artifacts, actually? Yeah, it looks like we're down to the last two. What's in here? Skylord? Oh, yeah, that's that one. Hang on, we're missing this one. Oh yeah, these two. So yeah, oh yeah, so this is the artifact of the Skylar then, so yeah. But yeah, like I said, we're going to go do the, those caves here. So I'm going to grab Swamp Killer and take Imperator to the Swamp Cave, and I will see you guys here in just a second. Okay, so before we actually go on to the Swamp Cave, I wanted you to see this real quick. This is why I love this area. Once we get the other two artifacts there, this is going to be so amazing. And the only two artifacts I have left, there's a cave right like here at the base of this mountain. And then the really hard underwater cave right there. But once we get those, we're good to take on all the bosses. I mean, we'll have to get multiple artifacts of this and this and these these these. But this is... This looks awesome. That's why I built it the way I did. Because it just looks so good. Alright, on to the Swamp Cave. Alright, so here we are at the Swamp Cave. Cave of the Immune. It only looks like this right now because I'm in the threshold of the cave. And also it looks bright out, but it's really not because it's 3 in the morning. And if I actually bring down my gamma back to normal levels, it looks like this. But I have it on gamma 4 right now. So that you guys can see, and so that I can see. So, first things first, you need a gas mask. It is one of the only ways you're going to survive in here. Because there are deadly, deadly gases inside here. Also, I did not bring Fluffy with me, because I don't want to risk losing another otter. And yes, you're going to hear a lot of that heavy breathing for a while. Unfortunately, nothing I can do about it. So let's take a peek. Any bugs? If there, if there aren't, I'm going to go outside and wait while they spawn in. Because it wouldn't be fair to do this cave without any resistance. Now this is where there was a ton of Meganura, but uh, this cave seems, seems empty. Alright, so we're going to go wait outside for a bit while they spawn in. By a bit, I mean 20-30 minutes, so I will be back well, in a little while. So, see you guys later. Alright, so I've waited just a little bit of time. We should be good to go now. I'm going to go ahead and throw my gassy mask back on. Turn the gamma up to 3 so you can see and so I can see. And we're ready to throw this guy out at a moment's notice. Checking to see if I see any bugs. I don't think I see any, but doesn't mean they're not here. 
Ready? Get him. I can see the snake. Aha. Get him. And now we get... I don't know how big the bonus is, but it's big enough. Oh, hey, Lo, there's a snake up in the uh, ceiling. But we're doing, you know, about 900 damage to all insects, so... Oh yeah, we waited plenty of time. Good, 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 good. Just keep killing them. And this is why we're using Megatheriums in the Brood Mode fight. Because they absolutely wreck bugs. Just want to make sure it's dead. Can I fit through this opening? I can. Good. Oh look, more bugs. Kill the other player. Kill the other player. Can I fit through here? No. Doesn't look like I can. Alright, so back up. I don't want to get stuck in the ceiling. And... Go get him! Go get him! Go get him! Why is it not working? Oh, screw it. I'm gonna have to figure out why that wasn't working. Actually, hang on, let me figure out why that wasn't working. Okay, I think I got it figured out. Oh dear me, there's a ton of bugs. Oh no, you slowed me down. Whatever will I do? Uh -oh. I am semi stuck. <laughs> Okay, oh no. Bomb killer, help! Oh, do you got anything in here? Nope. Drop it. Okay. Alright, so now this should work. Right? Go get him! Yes, go get him! No, don't bring me with you. Ah, fine. Now I'm inside, Swamp Killer. This is awkward. Go get him! No, not that button. Hey, come on. It's the button. I know there's a button for it. No, not that one. Don't make me look it up. It's aggressive as subtract. No, oh, I was literally right next to it. Get him! There we go. Now he's just gonna go in there and he's gonna kill everyone. Alright, hang on, hang on. Love the enthusiasm. Okay, that was close. That almost got me. Luckily, he can attack behind him. You are he, right? You are, okay. Okay, so we could go that way, or we could go this way. We are gonna go pretty much throughout this whole cave, because it's actually a really small cave. 
come on. You getting stuck right there? Really? You're not that chubby. Fine, we'll go through the water, but careful, there's leeches. There might, are there might be leeches. But there's definitely a spider. Okay, never mind, we're not going that way. Could have sworn you could fit through here. Really? Come on, bud, you're not that chunky. Any good? Not a thing. Alright, and throw them out. More bugs. Kill all the Magnera. Get off my butt. Yeah, you can see just what he can do to bugs. It is top of the line. Just slugs. I can hear a snake. Can't see it. Alright, so we're gonna go on up here. And there's usually, not usually, but there can be some loot right here or right here. Oh, look at that. It's right where I was saying it was. Uh, it's pretty good loot. I mean, if it were red, it'd be better, but. Yellow is still pretty good. Okay, I was speculating, but um, let's see. yeah, those are not good at all. So I'll go ahead and toss those. But we are going to clear this entire cave, and I will do it all in one. Hello, is that red loot? That is. We gotta get in there. So everything. Kill all the Meganura. Kill the spiders. Yeah, Megatherium are just all around really amazing. Oh yeah, we gotta get over there before that uh expires. Actually, I don't know if it will expire. Since it's um... I'm not sure. Let's not take that chance. Spider needs to die. Or Titanobar, I mean. Ooh, yes, red loot. I'm kind of, I've been running the, this cave a lot uh, in the hopes of getting a better shotgun. You can get a blueprint or an actual shotgun out of here, and I would love a better one. Oh yeah, look at all the spiders. They can't hold their own against me. Kill all the bugs, kill all the bugs. Kill all the snakes. Alright, can I get off this without being attacked? Apprentice Megatherium Saddle. You know what? That is pretty good. So I'll put it on. What's the matter? There we go. I don't know what that was about. Well, it's not exactly the. There's sometimes a. Uh, Loot drop right there. Uh, the artifact is just up there, but we're gonna uh, get the rest of the cave cleared out. So, if you're wondering why the, Ma the Magnar aren't attacking me, if I did uh, damage without killing it, they would attack me. But because I'm dealing damage and instantly killing them, they have no reason to attack me. Isn't that just a fun little tidbit? Oh, there's Titanium Myrna in here. Myrma, not Myrna. 
Yeah, I know I'm killing the Akatina, but there's they spawn here plenty. Getting plenty of experience though. We will be leveling up soon. Like that. Thousand health, yeah, you're good. I'm just gonna continue upping your melee damage because it is amazing. Oop, get out of the. There's a snake around here. Probably in the. Oh. I'll take a free kill. Alright, let's go get the artifact. And then we'll clear the rest of the cave. So I think this is the the way to go. So I know this won't kill them. It's enough to get their attention. And that's all I need. I just need to get their attention. gonna attack me are you okay you might just be stuck up there snake yeah you can see the artifact is just up there keep my eye out for the snake He's stuck in the wall but here it is the artifact of the Emir. Oh, and would you look at another one just immediately spawned in? Well, if I had my otter with me, I could take that, but honestly, I don't think we need any more for the moment. Depending on which uh, boss fight this artifact is for, we could. We might need more, because I might run the Broodmother a bunch. And then I might run the Megapithecus a bunch, but we're not running that many of the dragon just cause dragon's a really tough one uh I know there's another cave or well this is all one cave there's another subsection out this way and it usually has a red loot box in it Ha, ah, there's the snake. And I'm inside the Megatherium again. Okay. Can I get through here without having to worry about anything trying to kill me? Oh, and I'm overheating. Okay. Oh, well, there's a blue box. Not usually my cup of tea. That's better than nothing. Oh yeah, and there's a ton of leeches in there. Like a ton of leeches. Who's throwing that? That one looks dead. Killing everything in here. Yeah, this is this is a really just easy way to level up a Megatherium. <laughs> I might bring my other Megatheriums in here uh, when I'm breeding up the army, because this is just a real nice way of leveling them up. Well, uh, you know, I said I wanted a shotgun, but I meant like a pump action shotgun. So I don't need that or that. But yeah, this is the other section of the cave. There's an exit out that way, but there's also an, a bigger exit out this way, where this spider supposedly is. Uh, 
Yeah, I don't see him. He's probably in the wall. Like they usually are. Just cutting through all the Meganura. Don't want him sneaking up behind me. Yeah, this has kind of become real easy for me. But yeah, that is the Cave of the Immune. I will meet you guys at the Cave of the Skylord. There is one more thing I want you guys to see. It's on the way to the Skylord Cave. And over where the one of the final caves is going to be. I can't remember which one this one is. I think it might be, what, the Strong? Uh, yeah, it's either the Strong or whatever the other one is. Also, I'm starting to freeze. So... Let me pull this stuff out real quick. Okay. So over by this cave, and I'm trying to keep it in stasis as much as I can before I'm ready for it. But uh, I'll show you guys it really quick. Assuming it's still here, which it should be. Like I said, I've been keeping it in stasis. Where'd you go? Where's the cave? Right here. It is literally impossible to have lost it. And so I'm a little worried. The cave is right there. Oh, is it? You right there? That's a mammoth. Uh. Slightly worried now. Kind of wanted you to see it. That's a UV. Oh, well, there's a. This isn't what I wanted to show you, but there is a 150 Spino right there. But that's not who I was looking for. Like I said, it kind of worries me that. Oh, there she is. Level 135, female Giga. I need to get her back in stasis. But yeah. Come on, get in stasis. Yeah. Um, she originally was hanging out by the entrance to this cave, which worried me. But yeah, there's... um. That's the second Giga I've seen in this series, and the first one i pretty sure got wiped uh, during one of my Dino Wipes from uh, one of the events. But that is the first high level Giga we have found. And that is awesome, and awesomely terrifying. Don't get me wrong, I'd prefer a 145 or a 150, but 135? I've never tamed a Giga before. I know how to tame a Giga because I've watched plenty of other people's series on Ark and Taming Gigas is one of the uh, most... What is going to be a good word to use here? I was... Whoa, okay. Uh, it's one of the most, like, adva yeah, advanced things a Ark player can do. Especially solo. Seeing people do... Uh, taming an, a Giga solo is also really, really advanced. That is something we will be doing in this series. But, yeah, we have a Giga. I just have to, um... Tame her. And it's gonna require a metal cage. A very large metal cage. And lots of shocking Trank darts. Oh, I do not like that there's a UD up here. It's only level 15, but still. Do I have anything that can combat that? I don't think so. Oh, hopefully she gets taken care of. I'm sorry, that's a he. Yeah, he's kind of getting his ass kicked by that mammoth. Kind of, never mind. The mammoth is getting his ass kicked. Could go and help. Yeah, because it just did its roar. So now they 
there's is the time. Yep, knock it off. What was that other sound? Oh yeah, but there are three other mammoths here, so not too worried about the UD. I just wanted to get it away from here since this is where I'm gonna be parking the bird. So I'll tell you a funny story while we get ourselves set up for going down here. I remember when this game first came out in its early, early access days. Go and throw everything in here. Uh, in its very early access days. This whole area was not snow. It was, well, just like the rest of the map. It was kind of more of a forest. Uh, it wasn't cold. And I watched a YouTuber back then named, uh, well, Frankie on PC. He's still a YouTuber now. He just doesn't do it <gasps> as much. Oh, God, that hard heart attack. Uh, he just doesn't do it as much. But when he first played Ark, I mean, he is really the reason why I started playing. I I owe it to him because, I mean, he's the reason I wanted to play Ark in the first place. And I remember watching him go down this cliffside here. There used to be these massive jumps you had to jump over. Uh, but now it's just solid ground here. But no, I, I owe it to Frankie for me playing Ark because if not for him, I never would have picked up this game. I might not even have known it existed. But because of him, I discovered a really great game and an amazing community. So, with that out of the way, with all the sappy stuff gone, uh, Cave of the Skylord. So, unfortunately this is a cave you cannot take your dinos into. What's it like without the flashlight? Sorry if you can hear the kids screaming in the background. No, not game. Gamma... Um, yeah, you can't bring your dinos in here. It's a little too cramped. But in here, there is bats and spiders. Spiders aren't too hard to deal with. It's more the bats. So I know the exact path I need to take to get to the artifact. And actually, I don't even know if they're going to be in here. I mean, I while I was waiting for the swamp cave to load, I did uh, fly over here real quick. Oh yeah, there's bats. Uh, I did fly over here real quick to load the area up, and that's the wrong direction. Oh no, I'm already getting lost. Okay. Entrance is here. Now, the first time I came here, I ran out of the cave running from some bats, and a damn bat flew through the wall and out the side of the mountain. Scared the shit out of me. Okay, so normally there's a spider over here. Looks like we're okay for the moment. You can already hear the artifact. Oh, this is why I have Fluffy here. Get that. Yeah, so the artifact is just around the corner here. But I am going to take this slow you can hear the bat. I'm afraid it's going to come through the wall. Like I said, I can handle the spiders. The bats are tougher. Normally there's a couple bats right here. Let's see if I can aggro them. Get them out of there. So I might have to actually aggro them. What? There. Run! Reload, run. Reload, run. Run. Ouch. Nope. Ow. Ow. Okay, there's one. I'm still learning decent ways to uh, avoid come back here where are you going holy hell that was a 130 not that I plan on taming anytime soon 
Oh, and suddenly the flashlight's back on. Come on. Don't make me come. No, you know, I'm not going out there. Screw that. Oh. That just scared me. Okay, and seven. Alright, let's go get that artifact. One of the cool things is I don't actually. So, oh, fuck me. <gasps> fuck me, that's a, uh. Mm, that's a 150. Shoot, shoot it. Stop turning the flashlight on. Okay. They just keep spawning right there. Just let me get my artifact and run. Oh, come the fuck on. I might be able to take it and run. They really like their double spawn. Uh, I need I need another order. I need another one of these. I don't have that many. Uh, you know, if they they want to ignore me, I'm okay with that. But yeah, uh, like you normally you would have to like jump off the ledge or whatever. But looks like the devs might have made the uh, the bounding box a little too large. And because of that, oh shit, wrong way. Oh no. Uh oh. Can I do this? No. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh. I'm stuck. This isn't good. Uh oh. Um. Hmm. Why didn't I bring my crossbow? And <gasps> ooh. Ooh. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. No. Keep. Tri yes. Oh. Oh no. That's worse. That's worse. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let me out. Let me out. Uh, I didn't bring my crossbow with my uh, grappling hooks. Come on. Okay. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let me out. Let me out. Let me out. No. Come on. Yes. Come on. Jump higher. Jump, 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 jump. I don't know how I'm getting enough traction to make... Ooh, can I jump on top of this? Almost, yeah. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let me up, let me up, let me up. Come on, I can get out. Ow, come on. Eee. I can just get to the other side of this thing. I might have a chance. Come on. Maybe I have to go this way. No. Looks like this way is the way. Oh, let me just see if it'll let me take a stand. Okay, maybe not. Ooh, maybe let's try a jump and sprint. Come on, come on, come on. Ah. Come on. I know you can hear my frantic... Uh, space bar pushing. Come on. Mm. Do I just let myself die? Or... Oh, whoa. What was that? Come on, come on, come on. Like, I could just die and then... I can respawn and come get my no, but then Fluffy's at risk. I don't want to let Fluffy be at risk. Come on, I need to move my mic just a little bit more. Come on, come on, hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, I need to let my stamina come back. It is gonna come back, right? No, because technically I'm in the air. Stamina's not gonna come back. So pretty soon here, I am gonna run out. Oh no. Oh. 
Does it come back? No, it's not. You use five stamina per thing. Um, this is quite the predicament. I know, you said it, Fluffy. Come on. Oh! Wait, what if I try... Can I go up this way? What if I try jumping backwards? No. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ooh. No, that's just the, more of the same. Well, shit. I'm sure I can't. He can't fit anywhere in here. Wait. Don't tell me this uses stamina. No, it doesn't. Okay, I was about to say that'd be weird. Ooh, wait, wait. Maybe if I can get a jump. No! Come on, try jumping and throw. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Let me jump one more time. Okay, I'm going to invoke this one single time. I'm going to hit the fly command, because we can't just be stuck here. This is where I fell in, I think. Okay, there. We're not flying anymore. Didn't mean to take a drink, but that works. Okay. So, there's a crevice there. If you don't have a grappling hook, well, you're screwed. We're never going to do that again, though. Flying is not allowed. Why do I keep thinking that's the crouch command? Okay. So, we made it out. Let's say we never fell in that hole. And, now we're back out. But, for future reference, if you're going to go in that cave, bring a grappling hook and a crossbow. I, I ha I'm supposed to have a crossbow on my hotbar right here, but turns out I didn't bring it with me. So... There's that. Bring a crossbow with you. Because, yeah, there's a lot of crevices in there. Some of them, I think, are like uh, abyss holes, basically, where uh, you just fall forever and it instantly kills you. So, careful where you drop. Careful where you're going. Let's go grab this purple drop and let's head back home. Alrighty, so we've just returned. We can go ahead and drop artifacts off. Oh look, Fluff earned another level. So, we're gonna drop one more of these in there. We got plenty of those for now. And the Skylord. I think I'm putting it right here, right? Yeah. Yeah, so we are gonna need more artifacts of the Skylord. We got one more. So, the ones that are on the pedestals, they stay ones in the boxes we can use. So uh, let me go ahead and look up the requirements for the bosses real quick, which in a folder right here, see the uh, boss fights on the island. We can't see any of this. So for the brood mother, I need the hunter, the clever, and the massive, which we have, I believe, those are these right here. So we have the hunter, clever, and the massive. So this is the brood mother right here. If we want to do beta, we need argent, talon, sarco skin, sauropod vertebrae, and titanoboa, venom. We need five of those. Or if we want the alpha, we need ten of those. The megapithecus, we need the brute, the devourer, and the pack. Should be these right here. We have the brute, devourer. And the pack. Probably need to get more. Yeah, so we're going to need more pack. More devourer. More brute. And for the dragon. Let me scroll down right here. Oh yeah, and then for the megapithecus, we need megalania toxin, megalon tooth, megalodon tooth, spinal sails, therizino claws, and thyla claws. We got quite a bit of those. The dragon, we need the cunning, the immune, the skylord, and the strong. 
Well, we have the immune. We have the Sky Lord. We just need the strong and the cunning. So now I can remember it. This is the cave of the strong right here. This is the cave of the cunning. And we also need to do beta and alpha. We need to do beta. We need five aloe bl brains, five bazzy blubbers, one giga heart, five two so tentacles, five T-Rex arms, and five UD lungs. If we want to do the alpha, we need 10 aloe brains, 10 bazzy blubbers, two giga hearts, 10 two so tentacles, 15 T-Rex arms, and 10 UD lungs. The hardest is going to be those Giga Hearts and those two so tentacles. Yep. There we go. So yeah, we have quite a quite a lot of work uh, ahead of us, pretty much. We're probably gonna end up taming that Giga before we can do the Cave of the Strong. I'll probably do the Cave of the Cunning first. Um, but if I want in there, I need to get rid of that Giga, and I want to tame her. So, we're going to need lots of metal, lots of cementing paste, because we need to make ramps and pillars. Now, I know I have some blueprints here for metal. Let's look up all the metal things. Let's see. I have metal ramps. And I have metal pillars. So just cementing paste and metal. We're going to need lots of these and not as many of these. So just lots and lots of these. So I'm going to start making those. And uh, we're going to get ready for it. We're not probably not going to do it next episode. But soon. We're getting ready to... Uh, Take on one of our biggest challenges of this, of the island. Not even the series, just the island. Um, how many do we need? Let's see, we want to make it five wide, three, so let's go 15. Five. And go ahead and just craft uh, as many of those as you can. Uh, who knows how many I'm going to need. It's going to need to be a lot, because... I'm telling you, taming a Giga will be our toughest, toughest mission yet. But it will be worth it. So, thank you guys for being so patient with me for as many months as it's taken me to get this episode out. Thank you guys for returning to the series with me. And like earlier in the little advertisement section of this video, I do have a Patreon. If you guys would like to go ahead and please consider uh, donating I guess you can call it subscribing or whatever it would really help out the channel and you know you'll get special thanks at the end of every video you will get access to a special place in my discord server but even if you guys don't thank you anyway for being here with me because just being here is already amazing Thank you guys again, and I will see you guys in the next one. Until then, I really hope you take it easy, and I'll see you next time.